Good evening, ladies and gents. So, I wanted to come home tonight, or excuse me, from work today, which I usually get off at 4 o'clock. I come home and I take my senior citizen's nap. And don't deny it if you do it, because you know that a lot of you out there do. It's my invigoration rest, my beauty sleep, because God knows I need it. Three ex-wives will confirm that. But I intended on coming home and getting after Hell's Highway a little bit more tonight so I could get another video up and ready. But I'm a little too burnt out. I had to stay late until a 6 o'clock meeting started, a planning commission meeting. And I honestly thought a riot was going to break out during that meeting, and I couldn't believe it. First one I ever sat in on. And I couldn't believe it. And I was only in there to run the uh, the Zoom part of the uh, the meeting. So I didn't drift home till I don't know seven thirty, quarter to eight. And I said, "Man, I don't. I need to play, but if I play, I probably won't video." So I said, "No, nah, I think I'll just pass tonight." So I was sitting there on the couch. And then I got up, went over to the chair, and was catching up on some of. Some videos. Oh, by the way, I want to. I did those shout outs the other day. I want to. I need to add somebody because this person's been a serious spark in my gaming. Get him on YouTube. A lot of you probably already know him. It's Gamer Hudson. The dude has like endless videos on uh, board gaming. Um, from what I from what I'm looking at, because I'm kind of focused in with him, with him on World War II stuff. He's got a he's he's doing the East Front series stuff right now. He's revisiting that. And he's got a bunch of OCS stuff, and I'm watching the daylights out of it because I want to master OCS, and he's helping me get over some of these humps. Um, I'm taking my time with OCS. I want to learn it right, as I've been telling some people. But go over and check him out, Gamer Hudson. You, believe me, you will not be disappointed. The guy doesn't. He doesn't take your standard approach to some of these games. He he mixes things up and he adds some some items and some ideas that y you wouldn't see on a lot of channels. Um, come think of it, he's the first one I've I've seen some of the stuff he does. He's got a new one he just posted tonight where he does history stuff uh, around the Army Group North game from the GMTZ Front Series. Gamer Hudson on YouTube. Go look at his stuff. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. All right, so... Everybody likes a contest, I'm sure. So I got a contest for y'all out there. Now, there's a couple stipulations. Oh, by the way, I'm locked in on the victory conditions of this game. I'm getting ready to play here. Now, the game on the tables, Here Come the Rebels from Avalon Hill. It's the second volume in their great campaigns. Um, I'm sure some of you all out there have it. Some of you don't. Uh, I know you can get most of the information about it online. But I'm locked in on the victory conditions. I don't know if you can see it or not. If not... Uh, I'll try to maybe I'll try to scan and post the stuff so you can see it. So, I want to have a contest here because these these games intrigue me. But I'm always playing these games for the most part, unless I'm down the road at my buddy Osprey's house with uh, two other buddies, Chris and McKinley. Uh, I'm usually playing solo, and my mind kinds of get kind of gets stuck in in one method of player, one tactic. So here's what I want to do. I want everybody that sees this to enter this contest. And here's how, here's the, here's the two rules for the contest. I want you to give me your best strategy for this game, which I'll show you the map here shortly. You can read the victory conditions. I want you to give me your best strat strategical approach to this game. Um, Pick a side. Uh, I think what we're going to do is, I, I, I want to say the Confederates are on the offensive in this, but we'll, we'll say it from the Confederate side, okay? Or, the, you know what, forget that. Let's do it. You pick either side. Just pick one or the other, Confederate or the Union side. I want you to give me your best strategy. You can only do so much detail, but as much detail as you can give me to tell me what to do with the forces I have, okay? And then I want you to tell me what the victory points are going to be after four turns. It's only a four turn game, right? So guessing a number is not that hard, but I want to know what you think the points are going to be. And I want your best strategy. Now, here's how the contest works. I get to be the judge. And that's just the best part about this thing, I think. So I will pick the person 
who gives the strategy, the most creative strategy that I want to try, uh, that, that, that gets my goat, and I want to try it in the game, and I'm going to apply that to the game. Now, if there happens to be multiple ones out there that are similar, then whoever gets the guesses the points right, uh, and whoever has the best, whoever I consider to have the best strategy, that's the person that's going to win the contest. You're like, come on, hex to hex. <laughs> Why are we going to waste our time with that? Come on, everybody likes a game. You go, you go to the carnival, all right? Uh, come on, I, I know some of you guys that are my age remember throwing that ball and trying to knock them darn bottles off the table just so you could win a freaking stuffed animal for somebody you're going to give it to and probably never see it again or the dog might chew it up. Still, you're winning something. We all like to win something. So to make this interesting, there's a prize, okay? But here's the deal on the prize. Anybody can enter, all right? And there's no special form. You just do it in the comment section, and I'll go through them. Uh, but if you live outside the continental United States, the prize that you win, I'm sorry, you're going to have to pay shipping. Uh, I'll gladly ship it, but you're going to have to pay for the shipping because good God knows I can't afford that stuff. If you're in the continental United States, I'll ship it to you. No problem whatsoever. I'll pay for it. Uh, come on, Hex, come on. What's the freaking prize? All right, well, here it is. So you got four choices, okay? And here they are. Let's see. Let me zoom out a little bit here. So here's your choices. And I'm going to tell you what. All four of these are great games. Let me get over here where you can see them. So of your choices, you have two standard combat games either rock of the marne or the panzer batters panzer battles the 11th panzer on the chair and i'm sure the two that are going to be the hottest ones are going to be over here you have a brand new copy of death valley all right from gmt and that's worth every penny or atlanta is ours one of mmp's great campaigns in the american civil war so you get to choose one of them but just remember if you live outside the continental united states you're gonna have to pay for the shipping I'll ship it to you, but you're going to have to pay for that shipping. And I know most of you grognards out there, y'all are good people. And I don't think I have to worry about that. But I think the contest is very simple. All right. The flash on? Yeah, it's on. So here's the setup. All right. You read the victory conditions because I darn sure have not read them yet. All right. I do know that there's Harper's Ferry right there. All right. I know this because I live in this area. Ha ha ha. You got a bunch of Johnny Rebs over yonder. Now, of course, this is the 1862 campaign. It's all built around Antietam, all right? Um, this is the, I think it's the second scenario. It's called Crampton's Gap, Harper's Ferry. All right, so you've got Johnny Rebs down here with Harper's Ferry. You've got Johnny Rebs up here. Now, I will tell you, this is the area that I live in, up yonder, okay? I'm somewhere in this part of the valley, all right? Got some Yankee boys, some Billy Yanks down here. you got a bunch of Billy Yanks over here, okay? Um... And more Johnny Ribs in between. I have not read the victory conditions. I'm not going to read them until I start getting input. Now, the one sort of hold me back to this is I've got to have it, I, at least 10 people submit a strategy and what they think the victory points are going to be at the end of the four turns. It's pretty simple, guys. Don't Hey, don't be embarrassed to submit any kind of strategy. Get creative. Uh, put your brain to work there and tell me what to do with these units. Huh? We'll get a little closer and you can freeze and... Take a look around, freeze the video, and take a look at the units. If not, if you got the game, set it up. Put the map up. Put some counters on there. All right. Here's the, the Rebs outside of Harper's Ferry there. Hopefully, my hand, maybe I should drink something to keep my hand from shaking. My stabilizer should be doing the job here. Now, there's a depot there. There's a Yankee Depot in there. I think there's a Yankee Depot in Martinsburg, too. Pretty sure. I'm not going to give y'all. Y'all are going to have to look that stuff up yourself. All right. More Johnny Rebs over here covering the passes. It's four turns. All right. Might take me a little while to play it. But like I say, whoever has the most creative strategy and is closest to what the victory points are when I'm done, and I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not going to fudge it. All right. You will get to pick one of those fine games over there and I'll get it out to you. All right. If you have any questions about it, put it in the comments. And I will try to answer the best I can, but I think I made it pretty simple. Get your rule book out on this. Get somebody that has it. All right. Take a look at the victory conditions for the game. 
Tell me what I need to do. Tell me what to do with either side, whichever one I think is the best and it works out the best, and I'll determine at the end who's going to get it. All right. So get after it. You got time. You got plenty of time because I probably won't start it here till I finish Hell's Highway, which is going to be a few days, I'm sure. But it's set up. It's ready to go. Plus, I'm messing around with OCS over there with Smolensk. Still haven't got much progress in that, but I'm working on it. But I'm just itching to give those games away over there. Here, you want one last look? Want one last little teaser there? Let me tell you something. Um, a couple of those I played. And, I mean, everybody knows that Death Valley is freaking great anyhow. And we know that the Great Campaigns is great. And I love the SCS here. I'm going to tell you, don't be fooled by that Rock of the Marn. That's a very, very, very good game. All right. Remember what I said. Go over and look at Gamer Hudson on YouTube. Get on your computers. Get your history books out. Get your maps out. Take a look at this battle here. Uh, let's see. Maybe this will help too. It is from... It is from September 12th to September 15th of 1862. All right. There's some details on it right there. It's only four turns. And I am going to attempt to follow the strategy that I choose out of the list to, to affect this. So whichever side I choose, if you give me a union strategy and I choose that, I'm going to try to apply that strategy and see if I can't pull off the, uh, what you, the, the win is that side. All right. All right. There you go, guys. Get after it. I want to see some really good creative strategies for this game. Hey, earn yourself a game. Come on. All right. We'll see y'all shortly.